I'm clutching my tray with both hands, hoping that Beyonce grants me the strength to make it to my usual lunch table without any incidents. I shudder at the thought of a slip that douses me in ranch dressing or a trip that lands me in the lap of one of the guys from the wrestling team. Or worse, a video of that fall blowing up on Campbell Confidential, the gossipy Twitter-esque app some senior created a few years ago that has become my worst nightmare. I'm grateful that in a few months, all this will be behind me. I'll be on my way to Pennington, the best private college in the state, living the life I've always dreamed about, one surrounded by people like me in a place I fit, on track to becoming a doctor. It's so close, I can taste it. All I need is the email confirming that I got the scholarship, and, Lighty, watch it! I've got a thing to do. Derek Lawson leans into the word thing like what he's prepping for is some big mystery as he plants himself directly in front of me. I take a step back, Trey still in my death grip, and brace myself. I know what happens next, we all do. This type of public spectacle is second nature in Campbell this time of year. Before I have a chance to spare myself the very specific torture that accompanies watching a flash mob full of varsity athletes singing and dancing in unison like some sort of value brand boy band, it's already happening. Derek slides across the floor with the type of drama that would make the cast of Hamilton sit up and take notes. He climbs onto the long table where his crew normally sits and points down to his girlfriend and my not-so-secret rival, Rachel Collins. Someone presses play on a speaker somewhere, and that's when it starts, another freaking promposal. Even though this has been happening at least twice a week since the semester started, I swear, one of the freshman girls at the table next to me faints from excitement when Derek begins singing a remixed and prom-themed version of Time of My Life. Her friends are too distracted to even help her up. Prom in Campbell County, Indiana, is like football in Texas. The only difference is we don't get our fanaticism out of our systems every Friday night for months on end. Nope. In Campbell, we just hold it in, 11 months and 29 days per year, until one day we explode, the whole town covered in a heap of sequins and designer tuxes and enough hairspray to feel the Hindenburg. It might be impressive if it weren't so ridiculously obnoxiously annoying. You're the one girl I want to go to prom with. Derek is belting at the top of his lungs, and it is certifiably awful, but no one seems to care. The girls from the Palm Squad come in from the hallway, where they must have been lying in wait, fully decked out in their uniforms and grab their partners from the basketball team. And suddenly, they're doing full dirty dancing choreo and not missing a beat. The entire cafeteria is watching this show, and I sort of want to die. My stomach threatens to bring up the granola bar I ate for breakfast just at the site. Not only because it's Rachel at the center of the attention again, but because this public display of, well, anything really terrifies me, even when I'm the furthest thing from being involved in it. I mean, everyone is looking at you, watching you, waiting for you to do something worth posting to Campbell Confidential. The idea of people's eyes being on me for any longer than the time it takes for me to pass out their sheet music before concert band rehearsal makes me undeniably anxious. It's why I never ran for class president or auditioned for a school musical and can barely take solos in band without wanting to evaporate. When you already feel like everything about you makes you stand out, it just makes more sense to find as many ways to blend in as you can. But still, there's something about the way Derek is looking at Rachel that makes my heart sink. People like Rachel and Derek get the perfect high school sweetheart love story to tell their kids about one day. But tall, black, broke, Liz Lighty doesn't stand a chance. Not in a place like this, anyway. I don't resent my classmates. I really don't. But sometimes, okay, most of the time, it's just that I don't feel like one of them. 